Okay, The Beaver. This was the, uh, the Mel Gibson, Jodie Foster movie that also had uh, Anton, I forget his last name, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Well, it's got a pretty solid cast to it. Pretty much Mel Gibson is a guy who is broken, to put it mildly. Suicidal, very depressed, who one day finds a beaver puppet and then begins to talk to everyone from the beaver puppet. You probably think it's also kind of funny. It's got moments where it's kind of lighthearted, but since it pretty much begins with Mel Gibson trying to hang himself off a shower curtain rod, trying to kill himself, until he realizes he can only talk to people through the puppet. And the times when they try to talk to him, he is still an undeniably depressed and broken individual. Which makes sense, because at the time he did this film, Mel Gibson himself was a broken individual. So there are moments where, as he's going through the scenes, it's very uncomfortable. Because you can tell he's not acting. He's actually taking his real-life problems and issues and putting them into the character. Which makes this film at sometimes very uncomfortable to watch. Because it comes off... Almost too deep and almost too personal. <clears throat> you know, in uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, you get a decent amount of what she's she's going through, what she's dealing with, being you know, the class valedictorian, but having other issues in her life that are much more front and center, but no one else really talks about them. You know, when those get brought up in the film, it's like not quite as not quite as horrid as like what dreams may come. But this is a very, very depressing, very deep film, ironically, about a guy who is so mentally disturbed and destroyed and broken down to the most barest essence and elements that the only way he can remotely confer his ideas and put his ideas out into the world is to talk through a puppet. It's a very, very deep, very dramatic, beautifully well-done film.